Perfect. Mm, Perfect. Crazy. Okay. Okay. Now wait a minute. All right. So welcome everyone. Welcome to MMVC and our 10th anniversary. We've got a speaker in the background there, Anna Grabowska, who's here with us, and she's going to share her work a little bit about. Oops. A little bit about Anna. Anna is a doctor and an engineer of engineering. She has over 25 years experience in distance education. In 1994, she received a master's degree at the University of De Montfort in Manchester. Uh, in the UK in 2001, she defended her doctoral thesis and the title of a doctor of technical sciences was given to her at the Gans University of Technology. Since 1995, she has been the manager of Autodesk Authorized Training Center at Gans University of Technology. In 1998 to 2004, she served as head of distance education center at Gans University. Yes, 2004. Uh, from 1998 to 2004, which means that distance education is not new. She is a founding member of the Association of Academic E-Learning, an advisor at U3A Online. And for the past 13 years, Anna has been conducting meetings with a computer for senior at Guns University of Technology. And that's her passion, sharing and not just sharing, but learning. Anna is an amazing lifelong learner. She has been involved in educational European projects dedicated to lifelong learning for all. So it gives me great pleasure to um, have Anna today with us, Dr. Grabowska. Thank you for Thank you very us. much for introducing me, Nelly. It's really my pleasure to be with all of you today. And it's in fact a long story. I just checked that the first um, attendance of the conference was several years ago, I think at least seven. But anyway, uh, I, today I decided to record my presentation. It's also due to problems with the internet at home I've got. So just in case I did it uh, and uh, learning together with Nelly, it was not very difficult to prepare such presentation. And um, I would like just to stress that uh, the most uh, important part for, for the, my presentation will be your questions after presenting what I prepared for you. So let's start with the presentation which is located at university server. So I will show you uh, all links to the to places that you can download everything as well. Good morning. It's my pleasure to take part in Moodle Mood virtual conference in 2021. Many thanks, Nelly, for invitation. Uh, I, I think uh, it will be a great um, to continue this year and next coming years. So uh, I decided to record my presentation due to some troubles with internet connection at my home. Uh, let, let's say that it will work. Let's see. The title of my presentation is Rolki Ryba Stos ISO 21. And uh, the presentation is about several voluntary based projects for elderly learners delivered by members of Academy of Third Age at Gdańsk University of Technology. We will especially stress uh, sustainability of our project and we we'll look for the solutions. I started working with elderly um, 14 years ago uh, when I started to be retired. Um, I think that it would be nice to organize meeting with computers for former co-workers of our university. Um, especially that time, computers were not so much popular as they are now. And people, they wanted to learn a, a little bit about uh, how they can use computer. And also because internet uh, was a tool that uh, enabled people to communicate around the world and very many of my colleagues, they've got uh, grandchildren abroad, so they were at least several reasons that they decided to continue with uh, our meeting with computers, and they still continued. They are still continuing. 
uh, when I decided to start um, learning um, at university with elderly, I thought about using blended mode approach. It means I decided to find out a software which is uh, really useful and friendly uh, for people over 60 and uh, combine it with face-to-face -face meetings each week on Thursday. We started um, implementing Moodle at my university in, two in 24, so it was quite many years ago, almost from the very beginning of Moodle, and we translated the first interface of the software. Um, and uh, when I started with Moodle, I invited my friends from secondary school to take part in the testing course and uh, from 2004 uh, till now we've got the same application with very old model which is a kind of nightmare for administrator but they don't want to move to a newest version so it's our problem how we can continue with so uh, with very old one in 2009, uh, we decided to open a special dedicated platform for University of Third Age. And uh, this platform uh, was um, financed uh, by British Council and um, Foundation, Polish American Foundation. Uh, we developed several projects um, also under Erasmus. Plus, and uh, it, it was a uh, um, quite uh, many courses develop uh, that time and uh, they are still um, available so uh, we can go there and use uh, um, for uh, our ongoing project uh, some example uh, some um, good practices in 2012 uh, we develop uh, next uh, Moodle platform um, which is lifelong learning for all and uh, this platform combine uh, all ongoing projects that uh, we have been developing together with elderly. Um, but uh, there is a very special year that we are behind. Uh, so it, it's 2020-2021 when pandemic came and uh, we had no face-to-face -face meeting at university. Uh, on online meetings in Zoom replaced uh, traditional meetings and people started to be much more active uh, wh while working together in Zoom and then working together in the classroom. So it, it was a kind of big surprise for a teacher. Um, but thanks to that, um, nowadays uh, we've got at least uh, those four projects uh, which uh, sometimes they are ongoing sometimes they are just about finishing and uh, some of them they will start very soon uh, there is another platform that uh, we decided to test in 2017 and this is uh, Moodle Cloud platform at the time uh, Martin Daugiamas enabled people to have uh, this Moodle Cloud platform for free uh, for not a big group, uh, it means less than 50 people and uh, space was not a very big one. Uh, but uh, w what was really fascinating, uh, it, it was that people can use it for free. Everything has changed uh, rapidly and um, we were expected to uh, pay, but not those people who started early. So it means that we still have this Moodle Cloud pl platform for free. And the idea of the platform was to collect all uh, projects or maybe results of the project that we would like to share with the publi public. And uh, it should have been open and they are open. Those results for people who would like to uh, repeat or to take uh, these um, practices for uh, their usage. And uh, it's possible to go to this platform and uh, looking uh, in those results as a guest. So, um, although this is in Polish, I think there is no problem with translation nowadays. Let's say that the most important thing why we have been using um, 
different platforms is uh, so called sustainability. Uh, the definition I would like to present is a process or state that can be maintained at a certain level for as long as is wanted. And we wanted to have our projects uh, still online as uh, as far as it's, it will be possible. Uh, so um, we will see. Uh, those projects, uh, um, it, it's a kind of a form of migration that I mentioned that uh, those results of the project, uh, they are um, put uh, on this Moodle Cloud platform and uh, the results are open for everybody there. Our motto is do what you like with whom you like. And I think this motto is included in all our actions that we started from the very beginning, uh, 14 years ago. I didn't realize that time that it's so important just to let people do what they really want to do in a group with the people they want to cooperate. Uh, so um, our project that we developed together, it's U3A for the community, walk, bike at Gdańsk University of Technology campus, it is a kind of the results um, of our role key. So um, I must say that uh, we develop um, different kinds of uh, city games um, solutions and uh, each uh, senior who would like to develop their own um, example, uh, they did it. So we've got a kind of collection of our um, common results that we can share and uh, you, then you can invite it just to go to Moodle Cloud and have a look what we've done for this voluntary based project. The next project that uh, I'm really very proud of, it's a project uh, conducted by one of our, our um, senior, uh, Sio Asia, uh, who is responsible for the project titled uh, Read and Draw with Grandma. She uh, wrote um, very many fairy tales for grandchildren and uh, she also would like to print a book uh, including all this fairy tale and uh, illustration should have been done by um, young people so by our grandchildren so this is the idea of the project more or less and uh, each week uh, we used to meet in different places especially parks and kindergartens and the uh, grandmothers, they are reading books and grandchildren, they are drawing um, illustration for these books. Uh, this is a part of my presentation that I would like to share what I really like to do. And I really like to learn with Nelly in Moodle for Teachers platform. And the last uh, of, the pro of the courses I took part in is videos for mobile learning. Um, I must say that uh, this project, uh, this course, was a kind of inspiration for my next uh, courses in the future. Uh, and uh, thanks to this project, I started uh, storytelling and uh, I will share some results soon with you. Uh, here is uh, what I prepared uh, for this course in YouTube. So let's go there. Welcome, Welcome to my, to my presentation, presentation titled, Why Do We Need Mobile Learning? My target group is elderly. Do I really need mobile learning? My answer is yes. Yes. Yes, because elderly want to make their memories shareable with others. The idea is to teach elderly using mobile applications for storytelling preparation. I will look for easy solution and will share with elderly. Thank you for watching my short presentation. Uh, okay, this presentation is really very short, but I think that I put everything what I've got in my mind at time and I think I'm still looking for the easiest solution because in case of elderly, they really want to do something which is easy and easy to follow. Um, okay, then I started with the idea of uh, Polish storytelling community um, and I found it, the story that was prepared not by me, 
but, but uh, the story is about my mother-in-law. I think uh, it is important in case when we are thinking about our grandchildren, how we can share our memories uh, for the past, what we can just give them as a gift. So have a look what I prepared. Part what I would like to share. Po drodze wstępowali, ale nikt ich nie chciał przyjąć, bo się bali. Ten, na którego najbardziej liczyli, on byłby ich wozem i, i wziął, z tym, że kilka dni prędzej u jego sąsiada był pogrom. Znaleźli Żydów i powiedzmy, zabrali i Żydów, a tych to zostawili na, na, tych, na, na podwórku od razu z gospodarza i wszystkim. No nie wiem, czy by pani się zdobyła. Jak... <coughs> I think that something is wrong uh, with the presentation online, am I right? No, no, no. What happened was it stopped for some reason. Oh, for need... some reason, stop. No, but okay. you could continue it if you click on uh, it. I think I will do it. Just um, mm -hmm. I will come back to my links I prepared for, for the audience. So it means I will go to this film um, maybe later. Now I would like just to explain why I did it. In fact, this film about my mother is low. It's not prepared by me. I, I found it in the internet. It was recorded several years ago because before death of my mother-in-law. Uh, now I, I feel it on, on my whole of my body. So it's really sad story. But I discovered that I've got at least something that I can show to my grandchildren. And it's a kind of continuation. And it's a really good idea just to... Uh, to have it as it is um, prepared even by others. So I think that I will try to share um, links uh, again. Can you hear? Yes, Anna, we can. I will just go a little bit further. Exactly, yes że to jest przecież człowiek, to jest bliźni. No jakby tak nam ktoś i chcielibyśmy pomocy i by nas nikt nie chciał. Dobrze, niech się dzieje wola boska i takie tam, wie pani, wpuścimy ich. No i uradzili sobie, że teraz <śmiech> wpuszczą ich do tej dziury. Sypał, mróz, wiatr wiał, a ja klęczałam na tym podwórku, prawie że na środku tego podwórka i modliłam się. Przyszli żandarmi, oczywiście jak szli to mnie już serce w gardle stawało, a co się działo ze mną to nie potrafię tego nawet powiedzieć, nie potrafię, bo to nie jest, nie jest do przekazania to co ja czułam. Tego się nie da powiedzieć. Postali, coś tam porozmawiali między sobą trochę. To tak wyglądało, jakby się o coś sprzeczali, jakby uzg... Nie wiem, tak wie pani, taka dyskusja była trochę jakaś taka ostra między nimi. Ale wie pani co? Odwrócili się, wzięli tego psa i poszli. 
Jak to wytłumaczyć? Nie wiem. Naprawdę nie wiem, bo to jest nie do pomyślenia. Przyszli żandarmi. Mieli rewizję przeprowadzić tak jak wszędzie, a to był jedyny dom na tym powiedzmy skrawku tam jakimś, gdzie nie przeprowadzili rewizji. Jeden, jedyny proszę panią. Akurat tam by znaleźli. Okay, um, I think uh, it, it's really a sad story, but I would like to, just to share the whole story with you. And uh, I, I do hope it was not annoying. Um, suddenly, when I founded this film, I thought, okay, I should uh, speak with my father because uh, he took part in Warsaw Uprise. And uh, I was wondering, if he could set, tell something about uh, his memories. And uh, then, um, then he uh, recorded for me his story. But, uh, without the presentation, it's difficult to find the proper one. Okay. Mm hmm It's just my problem to find the place, but we will see. Now you can see what we have done since very many years, because everything what's here, it's for free, it's creative commons. So just you can go there and download whatever you want. Uh, and uh, yes. Uh, This is a story. Uh, my father is speaking in Polish. Uh, it still needs some translation, but just for a few seconds, I will share with you. Anna, we don't see the, the screen right now. No? No, you, you didn't, I didn't share. I uh, didn't no. share the screen no. probably. Uh, yeah. So le let's say that, uh, let's leave it as it is, because probably I should come back to my presentation, uh, which is, um, which have everything inside, but this break was really annoying and disruptive. Uh, so uh, the only thing I would like to say is that uh, um, we decided to continue our cooperation with storytelling with a forum um, of University of Third Age from United Kingdom. And uh, the, I think that it's possible to go to my presentation, which is located in Moodle, uh, and just ha have a look at the <clears throat> last slides. So, so maybe I will try to do this, to go to the last slides. Okay. I will share a screen again. Hmm. Can you see? Yes. Yes, you're back to the okay. presentation. So I'm coming to my presentation then. And uh, yeah, this is a story about uh, the future cooperation. So probably it's quite realistic to uh, continue um, there is storytelling together with University of Third Age uh, from United Kingdom, uh, or, or as well as Scotland and Wales and the whole, the whole United Kingdom. So I think it, it will be nice. And what is interesting, uh, after several meetings with people from United Kingdom, um, I um, presented model approach 
And then they also started with Moodle, which is, I think, good news because they, they will try to implement Moodle for University of Third Age in United Kingdom. Uh, so um, everybody who is interested in, please contact me. And just now I would like to sum up. So the only thing um, I would like to share with you today, there are four projects we developed during, during pandemia. And uh, I really love acronyms. So then you can see their role, Kiriba, Ipso, and STOS, and everything is about working together with elderly. And I think um, when uh, I'm retired, the most important clients for clients, it's of course, in brackets, it's they are elderly people because they really need to do something which is in involving and interesting for them. As I told you, the most interesting is they should do what they like and with whom you like. And that's what I try to do since 14 years. So now, now I think it's time for questions and I'm open. As far as I can answer, I will try. Okay, thank you, Anna. That was very, very emotional, not only for you, but I'm sure for others as well. It, it was. Since uh, the subject, yes, but I think the idea of storytelling, that's all we have is each other and, you know, our, our, the elderly. And that's, that's very important because we're all going to be elderly uh, sooner or later. So uh, if we start doing something now, like you're doing, if others would follow you, I think, then, um, you know, you could start a movement, Anna, with, uh, with this idea that you have and you've been practicing. The mics are open, so all you need to do is unmute yourselves and you'll be able to ask your questions or comments. Well, I would like to add a yes. comment, this Ludmila Smirnova. <clears throat> Let me add your video. Okay, there, your video should be <laughs> available too. Okay. Um, yes, it's impressive. And the storytelling is very important. And because people who participated in the war, they disappearing, they... And uh, so it really, I was <laughs> watching this with tears in my eyes because <laughs> my, my mother uh, also did something that um, was extraordinary. She stole a map from, uh, from uh, Germans and when they were occupying the village where she lived with her mother. And... Mm -hmm. um, when she visited me in the United States, one of our friends invited us to his home and it was a Memorial Day and he asked everybody to tell stories and that's what she told. And his son was there and he's an American, um, the, the host who was um, Jim Quigley. And he still keeps that, that videotape and he videotaped that story of my mom. And um, this is very important. So I, I, uh, I kind of support Nelly's idea of starting a movement to keep that story going because this new generation, of course, they, they face new issues. They face new problems, racism and inequality and hunger. There are so many, but to prevent wars, to prevent betrayal to prevent uh, other disasters. So our kids, our grandkids have to know these stories and they have to listen to stories and know the, the, the real uh, situation that was during Second World War. Thank you very much for your work. Thank you, Ludmila. I must say that it was also a kind of inspiration from my daughter. She said, okay, yeah. why not to ask um, my grandfather to tell the story about the uh, Warsaw Uprise. But uh, in fact, I, I was uh, pushed <laughs> by Nelly's course. Uh, then I discovered that it's a really good idea. And I think that uh, very soon I will share all, all these products with our grandchildren. And maybe, I, I don't think so that this is only a place for recordings for those people who remember war. I think that it will be a kind of a place that everybody can share some 
interesting or involving stories. Because in my group, uh, there are not very many seniors who remember war. Yes, they, they are just dying. So th this is really a, a big challenge to find those who can record something. So I, I was really happy with my father because he also drew a picture, a map of Warsaw. So in the presentation, you can find a map um, I just put after uh, looking uh, at his drawing. Yes, so it, it's really realistic. It was absolutely amazing because he remembered names of all streets he, he, wow. he was that time. So absolutely amazing. Okay, this is really very personal story, but anyway, if anybody would like just to join some, uh, such a movement, so I think that uh, we can use also this uh, platform that we can collect all results uh, from projects, we, which is uh, development of human resources, the abbreviation, the HORE, the Moodle Cloud. That's what I mentioned, Nelly, I've got for free by an accident. <laughs> so, because we did it uh, on time and then uh, Daugyama said, okay, if you have it, then you can keep it. But uh, the only problem is that I must log in each week. If the, I'm not there, I will lose it. So yeah, know. that's what happened to mine. I yeah. lost it. But I think that uh, the idea of uh, stories doesn't matter whether I'm not talk, referring to World War II. But yeah. you know what? We we all have so much to say. Why not record it and uh, and share it? Exactly. Exactly. It's that's human I resources. Think. I love that term. You know, we are yeah. human resources. Well, and, and Congress uh, uh, Library Congress actually keeps this too. They they invite people, uh, sons and daughters, uh, sisters, brothers, and they record. And sometimes public radio uh, shares uh, these stories, and they are amazing. It's it's real life, so it's it's really wonderful wonderful tool and wonderful way of connecting people and sharing Absolutely. stories and learn from them Absolutely. yeah well, that's yeah that's that's what i'm thinking too you know how many stories when i um before i lost my father the, the stories he would tell about you know his life and adventures and you know, things that you can really learn. You can learn so much exactly. just by listening to people talk about uh, their experiences and, and, and the fact that we're listening. I think that, you know, developing a listening um, mm. skill, the yeah. skill of, you know, is something that I think everybody needs. We need to learn to, to listen to one another. Yeah. We, we would really benefit Thank you, Nelly. Yes, that's what you said in the proper time. And this, this, this is a point, exactly. So uh, if there is any question, I still can answer. All those, uh, okay, I, I will just put probably all links to the chat box because it will be easier just to follow. It oh, that's interesting. Fun. Sue says, uh, Sue, you can say it yourself or if you don't want to say it. Sue uh, mentioned that that's what we're doing here. And, and, and that is so true. Mm -hmm. We're learning together and we're, we're telling our story, how we view things, our perspective, our, we're putting ourselves out there. And I think that's, um, that's what makes uh, these online conferences so unique and uh, important. Sometimes there are links, sometimes they are not. It's funny because in- Oh, in really? Yes, and uh, when I'm looking at this um, Word file, everything, they are links, but... Oh, I see. It's not. Yeah. It's, yeah, you need to put the actual link. You can't put hyperlinked words. So I'm just wondering... So, if yeah, so for number four, five, six, seven... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, okay, so anyway... But you can share is, it. You it can is share in my it. presentation. It is not, also yeah, exactly. in my exactly. Exactly, and, that, yeah. so and you can problem. do it on, on Moodle. Exactly, did you start yeah. a discussion? Great, perfect, so it's all there. I will do and it. And by the way, everyone can actually, uh, I showed it uh, today, uh, can download the content. Exactly. 
So it's possible to get it from there. It's all, as you said, it's all Creative Commons. You can do whatever you like with it, but it's important to give credit as Bob <laughs> mentioned. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe I will put uh, this um, link to uh, develop the PowerPoint human resources, which is uh, really okay. And then you can go there as a guest um, and visiting several projects um, as, as the results of the products we've done. And uh, it's, it's really funny because this year was absolutely outstanding. Yes, never, never we did so much. Uh, Pandemia was um, some kind of inspiration for doing so many things because they are mainly uh, projects um, Polish base, let's say, and before we took part in Erasmus Plus project. Oh, Eva is coming, nice to see her. <laughs> I am. <Okay. laughs> no, so but I'm you mentioned something very important um, that I also discovered in my research, and I've been promoting it, and that is that, you know, half-half, being in the computer room is not as powerful as fully online. The connections when students of all ages, uh, when it's fully online, there's a lot more engagement on the Moodle. But when it's blended, when you're combining the face-to-face -face with the um, computer, that's where you worked in the computer room, there's less interactions on the Moodle or less interactions in general. So uh, it's either fully online but not, you know, half, half, it, it doesn't seem to work. That's right. So I'm just putting what I can do. Oh, uh, because in fact, there are at least uh, those two links to Moodle site, which is one is ours. Um, uh, okay. Do you have a comment. Twitter? Um, um, Nevis I've is got asking. A Twitter, but I'm not very active in Twitter. Okay. So <laughs> Sorry for that, uh, especially because our politicians are too much active there. So, so <laughs> enough for everyone, <laughs> enough for all of Poland. <laughs> yeah, so especially in Poland, we are really no, not uh, everywhere. It's, it's everywhere. You know, you think it's, okay? Yeah, they think that you don't need to do anything. Just twit. Uh, sometimes I, I use the Twitter, but it is especially in connection with Autodesk and uh, communication with people from, from Autodesk. So this is the only moments I, I'm coming go to. So I guess a special Twitter account for this purpose, but that's it. But on the other hand, we, I'm very active in Facebook. Uh, so I'm, I'm at least in three person in Facebook. So yes. sometimes it's a little bit confusing for people. Yes, it is. But this is what, what I did for a special purpose, not to mix the different actions I'm, I, I have been involved in. And although, although it seems to be very complicated, it's not. It's easy <laughs> to go to just to the point. Yeah. OK, so okay. thank you. Thank you, thank Anna. You very much. Last words. Anyone, you can unmute yourself. And I'm just asking Eva if uh, she's free in September and she wants to go to Athens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to meet in Athens? I don't know, with the pandemic, yeah, I have no Athens. idea. It's really I hear that Athens, Athens is red or orange, orange. Orange. It's, yeah, it's bad. Yeah, it's it's uh, bad. really, really bad there now. So, so um, sorry, Eva, it's not a good question. <laughs> no, no. But you know what? When you do, let's all get together in Athens. I, I'd be happy to join everyone. Okay. So, so let's make a date. It's, it's on fire. Wow. All right. So uh, thank you, Anna. Thank, thank you, you everyone. Uh, Ludmilla is going to present next, and we're looking forward to that. She's got